Hello, my name is Deborah, and the purpose of this video is to inform you of the snail keeping industry. I am a snail keeper and breeder myself. In order to care for and breed snails responsibly, they require a special diet. In this video, I have interviewed two snail food mix creators, Brittany Bellows and Meg Renninger. These two individuals have provided me with their insight on how to responsibly keep pet snails. Additionally, I have included footage of my pet snails as well as others around the world to encourage you to get a pet snail of your own. Did you know that snails were named the pandemic pet of 2020? In this video, you'll learn about snail keeping and their special calcium protein rich diet. My name is Brittany Bellows, and I have um, Brittany Bellows um, on Etsy. It's, it's, just, it's just my name on Etsy. I started keeping snails, well, I had them as a kid, but I started keeping them as an adult about 10 years ago. And when I started keeping them, there was like all this information on keeping giant African land snails in Europe, but there wasn't really any information on keeping garden snails as pets and especially not like in the US. I ordered like a giant African land snail book and you know was reading it and then I started talking to um, you know a bunch of the gauze keepers in the UK about like how they feed their snails and, and things like that and, and the protein was a really big you know thing that everybody talked about. I had several people that I spoke to kind of give me ideas for ingredients. I spent like $120 on ingredients it, it's unfeasible, right? Like at the time I had like 10 snails and I had so much food, like I had ingredients to make food for like the rest of their lives, right? And so that's kind of how the business was born was that I spent all this money on ingredients to make them food and then decided that, you know, that most people, if they just have a few, are not gonna want to spend that kind of money. And so once I had started making the food and you know been feeding it to my animals and kind of knew that it was doing well, then I started listing it on on Etsy, you know, as a you know, just to kind of share the wealth, so to speak. My name is Meg and I want to take this opportunity to answer some of your questions. So the brand is Snout and Shell and I am the owner of the company along with the creator of the products. The company got started this year, but I have been an entrepreneur online for five years. I moved into my house about five years ago and there were giant snails out in the front yard. And my background is in wildlife biology. I used to work as a wildlife biologist and I was fascinated by these huge snails. And my first thought was, these snails aren't native. Where do they come from? While I was in the process of researching them, I realized that there was a huge population of people who were fascinated and in love with land snails. And as an entrepreneur, I just, I really enjoyed like just how passionate people were. And so that's when I realized that I wanted to create a great snail food for these many, many pet snail owners. One thing that I'd like people to know is that snails, they can become pests and they can be invasive species. And if you decide to take care of snails, take care of the ones that live around you. And if you decide to buy them off eBay, don't release them into the wild. With all that being said, wouldn't you want a cute and friendly snail for yourself? Get one now and watch it grow from a tiny baby to the big, beautiful, curious creature that it is. You can find species that are native to your environment, or you can purchase them from responsible breeders such as myself. And don't forget to feed them great snail mix from Brittany Bellows and Snout and Shell.